Well, it also seems that China did not take any lessons from the SARS epidemic. Reports say China tried to cover up this outbreak initially. Local officials tried to hide facts. On the 1st of January, authorities in Wuhan closed down the market where the first case of the infection was traced. Eight people who spoke about the virus were accused of spreading rumors. Our next report tells you how China's attempts to hide the Wuhan virus went horribly wrong. A determined China wants to crush the Wuhan virus. Just like it crushes dissident. More than 22 million people have been put under a lockdown. By curbing the right to travel, China wants to prevent the disease from spreading. But with the rising number of deaths, it's increasingly becoming clear. This virus is hard to contain. Fingers are being raised against Xi Jinping and his government. Is Beijing doing enough to defeat the Wuhan virus? Claims of a cover-up are gaining more traction. Reports have emerged that in the initial days, local authorities tried to hide the outbreak of the disease. In this tweet, a journalist referring to a local source reported that eight people were detained in Wuhan. They were accused of spreading rumors about the virus. But hiding the truth only made the situation worse. The outbreak became difficult to contain for the lawmakers in Wuhan. Within weeks, it spread to several provinces of China. China's culture of secrecy became its worst enemy. Peter Cordingly was the spokesman for the World Health Organization during the SARS crisis. He took to Facebook to raise an alarm. In a post, he said the Chinese government is lying about the Wuhan virus. He termed the behavior of Beijing as reckless. In response, China could only offer assurances. China will continue to maintain an open, transparent attitude, act in a responsible manner for the global health and safety, report any outbreaks and maintain close communication with the World Health Organization, relevant countries and regions, including Hong Kong and Taiwan. We also believe that the emergency committee at the World Health Organization will base their findings about the outbreak on truth, science, impartiality, reasonable analysis and sound judgment. On Thursday, even the WHO admitted the situation is serious, but stopped short of declaring a public health emergency. Make no mistake, this is though an emergency in China. But it has not yet become a global health emergency. It may yet become one. The first victim was identified on the 1st of January. In less than a month, the Wuhan virus has spread, not just in China, but around the world. With the number of cases rising, Beijing can now be held responsible for potentially triggering an epidemic. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.